Join us on 3FM 92.7. It's still sunrise. And we bring you sports on your most exciting uh, morning show, breakfast show. Well, let's get started with the senior national team, the Black Stars of Ghana, who yesterday failed to honor themselves that in the last 10 games at the African Nations Cup, the Black Stars have money to win only one game out of the 10. And yesterday was another disappointing performance as they were defeated two goals to one by the Blue Sharks of Cape Verde in Abidjan. Very disappointing performance from Chris Hutton and his men. Cape Verde money to get the opener in the early stages of the first half, ensuring that the Black Stars were going to find it difficult to come back into the game. But uh, as it stood, there wasn't any opportunity for the Stars who couldn't find any uh, word in that particular game. Now, Chris Hutton was a bit disappointed with what transpired uh, during the game, and he says that wasn't the results they expected. We are incredibly, hugely disappointed with, with the result. We came into the game um, uh, with a game plan. We changed the way of playing the system um, uh, a bit so, so that we could start on the front foot. We thought the, the team that we put out was, a, was certainly a more offensive team that um, required. So this was our intention. Um, I think it, it rocked us the goal that we conceded. Um, but I thought we got back into the game. Now that, at that stage, it looked like we could go on and win it. Um, we are hugely, hugely disappointed with the, the result. And I know this group of players also know how our public, uh, the Ghanaian people, see this game, see this tournament. And, um, and our expectations going into this one. And it's one that uh, says it's, it's a defeat that we're hugely disappointed. Well, I'm glad the coach knows it was a disappointment. Now to the player of the game, Alexander Jiku. And uh, he was a judge man of the match. A very good defender. Got Ghana's only goal in the game. Yes, the consolation from the 2-1 loss. He thinks that the team needs to do better. So difficult, but we need to do more. More. We need to we need to do more aggressive. We need to play more. We need to, to create more chance. And uh, we need to score also. So we have another game, second game, and we need to win. So that is from Alexander Jiku. I'll be picking thoughts from you. What do you make of the team after a game? Can Ghana qualify out of this group with a sort of performance put up by Mozambique and then Egypt? We play our next game on Thursday against Egypt. Well, uh, let me quickly hear from you. 0559 and 0556 910 You can call right now and share your thoughts. But let's listen to Jordan Ayu, who believes that it was inexperience that caused the team to lose. But before then, I have my first caller. Hello. Good morning, Kevin. Good morning, brother. Kevin, I think that we should be. You even, mention, you even mention your name, Charlie. You verse too much. Calm down. Calm down. <laughs> Uh, Kevin, the embarrassment is becoming one too many. Mm -hmm. You know, my name is Jerry. I come from Adabraka. All right, brother. Let's so, continue. Uh, Kevin, ahead of the tournament, you you said the best we could do is that we'll get to uh, a knockout, and that will be it. I think you 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 are being even generous. You are being too even generous to the team to get to the quarters, uh, to the knockout. Look, when Yatechi's regime collapse, eh? An error has come to the end in our football life. And I expected that when a cat took over, there will be a grand policy to develop a new generation of players. Kevin, it is clear that there is nothing like that. How do you build a house without foundation? So for me, this embarrassment we are seeing at the, back, at the end of the day yesterday, I expected to see the resignation of cats from, from the football administration. To be honest with you, where, which direction is our football going? Which direction? And we can't team, team see players like this to go to a major tournament. And we are expected to do something. But by magic, by grace, or by what? So our football authorities and the government, in fact, the stakeholders within the 
football ecosystem should sit down and salvage the early football that Ghana is experiencing. It is becoming too embarrassing. Kevin, God bless you. Thank you so much, brother Walt. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. 0559-242-717-0556-910-154. Let's hear from you. What do you make of the team's performance? Do they inspire any hope of getting to the next stage of the competition? Hello? Hello, good morning. Good morning, brother. Your name and where are you calling from? Kia uh, Kamani from Accra. All right, brother, let's have your quick thoughts. You can't put the number three to be buying go for Number one, and expect to win. The selection was poor. Why do you keep a uh, uh, activity and the other goalkeeper? Uh, I mean, as you go for what? This is a match that must be won at all costs. I mean, it's time to tell the coach to stop this kind of funny, funny uh, selection. How do you put the Richard of Poli in good and expect to win this kind of match? It's not the first time. I hope that you are, you are listening well. Yes, I'm listening. No, you are that Chris Hussey man, man listening well. You can be a match which you want to win, then you will put strong recuperation like others on the bench and anything that you will win by what? By magic or some imagination or what? I knew this was not going to make it. If he called the same coach in the technical bench and the FIFA, sorry, the DFA thinks that they have something, they have to have it. Thank you. Thank you, brother. 0559 Hello? Hello. Hello. Yes, sir. Your name where are you calling from? Well, this is Papa BC. All right, Papa BC. Hmm. You remember when you asked me about what would be the scoreline? Yeah. You remember I was I was reluctant. Yes, you were. Tell you that. Yeah. Yes. Now let me tell you the whole story. See, Deku, who was voted as the best player of the match, mm -hmm. I, I will not go against it though. But it's not fit for the number four position. It should have been shifted to two. You could show Dennis Odwe is not a black stars material. He likes pushing people too much. You understand me? The, okay. the, the midfield, we still have a problem there. That's our headache. To be frank with you, we don't have a coach. If we want to win the African Cup match, they should go for people like Malik Jaber or uh, with this guy, uh, Abdul, Abdul Razak, or even Polo. See, our 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 uh, defenders, eh? mm -hmm. check from the 60s and to the 80s, we have rock defenders. What I mean by strong, tall, you know, lanky defenders. Oh, no, I, mean, I, haven't there. I, don't, I, don't, I don't see them as anything. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Yes, I, I get you. Give your, give your Mesa is good. Okay. I prefer give your Mensa to uh, Jiku being at four. Mm -hmm. eh? Then, 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 so, then, so, is not a black stars material. It has to be dropped. Jiku can be shifted to uh, number two position. The four, no, no, it's not fit for them at all. You understand me? Yes, the I middle field, we should have a better middle for that. Can we want a lump there? I get to my point. Yes. And all those people joking in front of, over there, there. I don't see them, you know, at all. Let me just allow them to come in my private. All right. Thank you so much. 0556-910-154-0559-242-717. Where do you think the Black Stars need to get better? Is it a problem of coaching or do you think the players are just not good enough for this tournament? Where do you see our problems and how can we solve it? We have two more games to play and you look at the group standings. Ghana are last on the log with zero point. Mozambique and Egypt have one point apiece and then the Blue Sharks of Kivet who defeated the Black Stars of Ghana with three points leading the pack. 0559-242-717 0556-910-154 Do you still trust that the Black Stars can qualify out of this group? Don't forget that the best third place teams, four out of uh, the six, can also qualify and if you can get even two points yes, you can manage to qualify out of the group. Let's have a quick listen to Jordan Ayu. After the game, he says in a experience cost the team's loss. When you see this type of situations, but you know we lack a lot of experience and you know I know can't say anything but at the end of the day if you look at the squad that we have uh, and more than ten is our first half come. Yeah. More than ten is our first half come so 
stop off a mistake to happen and we need to learn we need to learn quick because the Afghan is not waiting for anyone and you know it's it's not it's not easy, it's hard, but uh, we're men and we need to stand up and, and face the reality. You need to stand up and face the reality, according to Jordan Ayub. But do you ask yourself, it wasn't it there's the, uh, the same team uh, or the same Black Stars that played with inexperienced players at the 2010 African Nations Cup where we managed to get to the final, eventually losing to Egypt? Uh, well, hmm, let's see what happened in our subsequent games. But Andrea, Ayub also made a very good record, yes, uh, joining Rigobert Song also in there as uh, one of the players to um, play more than uh, that is um, eight Africa Cup of Nations. Well, he has two more games to surpass. Uh, that is Rigobert Song with the most games played at the African Nations Cup. So, Andrea, are you there joining Ahmed Hassan and then Rigobert Song? So, very impressive one for the captain of the team, Andre Ayu. Now let's look at some uh, the other results from the group and you look at uh, the same group group b egypt had to settle for a two all draw against uh, that is uh, mozambique in a very cagey encounter you're expecting that this would have been an easier game for uh, the um the pharaohs of egypt but unfortunately it couldn't end in that particular way for them well uh, very disappointing as mohammed salah had to equalize for them in the final minute of the game from the penalty Mozambique who had not won a match in 12 previous attempts in four past appearances at the Cup of Nations equalized through witness Quembo in the 55th minute before uh, the game was completely turned over its head uh, by Clasio Bakke who scored in the early uh, minutes of the second half to make it 2-1 so Egypt had to come back courtesy a penalty now in the other game Nigeria were expected to also dispatch their opponents, but they had to end in a one all draw. Africa Player of the Year, Victor Shimen, scored for the Super Green Eagles as they ended uh, the game against Equatorial Guinea, one all in Abidjan. He leveled in the first half almost immediately after Iban Edu had opened the scoring in a match that ended with both teams on one point, two fewer than leaders. Ivory Coast and on Saturday Ivory Coast played the opener and it was a very good win for them defeating Guinea-Bissau 2-0 at the Beam Pair Olympic Stadium. Seko Fofana put them ahead with a superb strike in the fourth minute of the Group A match whilst Jean-Philippe Crasso from Restal Belgrade added another goal in the second half. So those were the games uh, played yesterday. Very disappointing run in there from, uh, that is, um, uh, Nigeria as well as Egypt and Ghana. But Cote d'Ivoire started very well. So Group A, Group B done. Today, Group C will play their games as well as one game from Group D. So at 2 p.m., the defending champions, the Taranga Lions, play against the Scorpions of Gambia. Gambia have had a very difficult uh, coming to the Nations Cup, but they hope to turn things around Cameroon. Later on at 5 p.m., play against Guinea in a very big game. Before in Group D, Algeria play or start their campaign against Angola at the African Nations Cup. Now, before we uh, get uh, moved on to the other um, uh, tournament uh, in the Asian Cup, Indonesia will also play against Iraq. Now to the Premier League where, yeah, on Saturday, Manchester City managed to get a win over Newcastle United in the final minute of the game as Oscar Bob recorded a very fantastic finish to send Pep Guardiola and his men closer to Liverpool on the table. Pep Guardiola, after an impressive win. So we have an opponent like Liverpool now and Arsenal and the other ones that they are not going to draw my points. We cannot go too much. We have now just two points, one game in hand. And and uh, yeah, so we are there. So I'm very pleased for the performance. So imagine imagine what the people would say if we're playing in the way we played during 95, 93 minutes, if we don't win that game. Do we, do we deserve that win? What? Bye. And uh, yeah. So we are there. So I'm very pleased for the performance. So imagine imagine what the people would say if we're playing in the way we played during 95, 93 minutes, if we don't win that game. Do we, do we deserve that win? What? By far. All respect for Newcastle, by far. 
All respect uh, from Pep Guardiola. He says, by far, they deserve the win. Eddie Howe was a bit disappointed with the results from his team, but he expected a better outcome with that big clash. Yeah, at the end of the game, it's hard to take. The result's hard to take. Um, I felt we didn't deserve that outcome. Really good first half performance. It was edge of the seat stuff, really. We were very aggressive. It was end to end game. They created chances, we created chances. But we were well in the match, and um, I thought we caused them problems. Uh, but we just couldn't sustain it in the game. They just couldn't stand anything in that particular game. Now to Manchester United, and they settled for a 2 all draw against Tottenham Hotspur on Sunday uh, in the English Premier League. Manchester United boss Eric Ten Hag believes that they need to defend better by the US overall please with his attack. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm quite uh, happy with it, with the defence, except from the set plays. Uh, we, we didn't uh, defend the set plays very well. And we can see the goal from it. Uh, one from from the touch line, uh, from the byline, we, we saved, and one on the barrier. So yeah, then uh, you should do that better. And on the other hand, I think uh, we had very, uh, very attractive, good counter attacks, and we created some very good chances. And also we scored two very good goals. And then you should have in some important players who came back from injuries. How will you benefit from them in the upcoming matches? Well, they're quality players, so uh, that uh, those will strengthen the team. Manchester United boss Eric Ten Hag there now. Ange Postecoglou as the yeah, boss for Tot- as the boss for Tottenham Hotspur. He was also um, a bit disappointed with his team letting their guys down in the elements of their second half. But he was over overly impressed with the performance of Timo Werner, who helped the team to secure a point at the Old Trafford. Yeah, no, a difficult place to come. You know, they're pretty desperate for a result at the moment. Um, a win today would have given them some momentum for sure. And we were obviously went a goal down pretty early, but just the way they handled themselves after that, considering you know, like what we've been through, particularly this you know, past week or so, um, players coming in, um, you know, players who haven't played for quite a while, just a real determination from this group to, to just... You know, deal with adversity and, and push on. And um, for me, the performance is the number one thing. I, I would have loved to have won the game, but just for the players more than anything else. But I can't speak higher of, the, of our performance. He can speak so much about the uh, performance there. Well, we just hope that things will pan out uh, very much better than they saw. Now, let's move on to the Spanish Super uh, Copa. And then Real Madrid once again emerging victorious over Barcelona with a 4-1 win. In Saudi Arabia, Robert Lewandowski struck for Barcelona, but Vinicius Jr. struck a first half hat trick to fire Real Madrid to glory. Uh, defender Ronald Araujo was sent off in the second half on a, dis- uh, on a dismal night for the Spanish champions. Rodrigo rounded off Real Madrid's route as they won the competition for the 13th time, avenging last year's final defeat by record 14 time winners, Barcelona. So uh, that was also something positive from Real Madrid in there. The Australian Open is still ongoing and we haven't had too many shocks. Uh, Guy Monfils has managed to uh, progress, win two sets and he's expected to finish off the last set. David Goffin, however, is down to uh, Hugo Humber and then there's also uh, Maximilian Mattia also struggling against Nuno Borges. Andy Murray also struggling against Thomas Echeverry. is 6 4 6 2 now with a final set currently ongoing. Christopher Eubanks has also despite Taro Daniel and there's also um, uh, Daniel your Altmaier against Karen Kashanov ongoing one set for Altmaier, two sets for Kashanov with the final set, or uh, probably the four sets currently ongoing as well in the women's division there's been qualification for elena's vitolina we've also seen uh someone like cory gov uh, qualified to the next round tajana maria has also qualified to the next round anastasia pavlichenkova has also qualified elise mertens also qualifying katarina senior has also managed to qualify to the other um uh, game so onjabe is expected to play uh, later this morning as well as taylor townsend paula badosa and then caroline Garcia. Naomi Osaka having another big uh, clash this morning at 10 a.m. That'll be all for sports. Hopefully, the Black Stars do well. Follow us on 3 Sports GH across all the socials for a lot more. Helena Piampo for the rest of the Sunrise team. Serve you breakfast. We are not in a good mood, but expect the very best from us. Have a brilliant Monday.